I was particularly impressed with the UK's nationwide observance the second Sunday in November, all those who were killed and injured in wars. Um, and I thought that having a day of remembrance on the following Sunday for all those killed in the war on the roads would be very appropriate, especially as November is the month of remembrance. From 1995 onwards, we began to hold a variety of events. Besides church services, also conferences, vigils, exhibitions and concerts. More countries joined, not only in Europe, but on three other continents, and the day which we first named European Day became World Day of Remembrance. I represented Fevre on the newly established UN Road Safety Collaboration Forum, and one of the first plans was to establish a common global day on which the scale and impact of road casualties would be highlighted. I explained that such a day was already in existence and had been observed for the past decade. A UN resolution was drafted calling for member states to recognize and observe such a global day, World Day of Remembrance, on the third Sunday of November each year. Oman's ambassador, Mr. Fuad al Hinai, who had presented the resolution, informed me by fax that the resolution had been adopted unanimously on 26 October 2005, and this fax arrived on the 27th of October, the 15th anniversary of my son's death, which made the good news even more special. Best wishes for all your endeavors. Amen.